Dude, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, Randy's losing his brain in there. Well, you should get back in there. It'll have you scrubbing Johns for the rest of the week. Doubt it. I quit too. What? Looks like we got ourselves a day off. One of the approaches we took in the writer's room was finding an element of Hurley's character to tell the story through. And what we settled on was his fear of change, which is something that sort of really motivates that character, which worked, we think, nicely with the flashback showing how the lottery coming was a massive change in his life and how he dealt with the fear on both sides of that. And that mm -hmm. was sort of the, I think, the through line we, we tried to stick to. Well, it was cool because like, we're working with DJ Qualls again. We already had a certain chemistry we built just from knowing each other from before, so it made, you know, playing buddies real simple because uh, we'd done it already, actually. And uh, that was really the highlight for me in doing that episode. I really enjoyed those scenes in the Tiger Trap because I thought it was a great chance for all of us to get to know each other personally. You know, when you're in a, what, eight-foot hole <laughs> for eight hours a day, you know, you get to know each other. And uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that Josh and Harold and I have gotten to be really good friends. Look, we climbed up seven times, we fell down seven times. They got it weighted down. Hey! Hey! Let us out of here! Enough! We both do you just... It was also nice from an acting standpoint to keep working with the same people and develop a kind of uh, vocabulary, uh, working with each other. And then they throw me in a tiger trap. That was how we were introduced to Michelle Rodriguez and uh, Adewale. So that was fun too, uh, introduction of new people. I mean, Ow! Do you use swimmer's ear after you swim, Josh? Never. I haven't had an ear infection since eight years old. The day of Josh's first ear infection since he was eight years old is also the very first day of a new series regular, Cynthia Watros. <laughs> she looks fresh and clean now, but we'll see how she looks at the end of the season. <laughs> I hope I get to do some of this stuff. Yeah? yeah? Well, don't go open too much. <laughs> Gun's only got one bullet. She ain't gonna waste it. Ow! Son of a bitch! Oh! God! Grab the rope. Them bringing that caliber of actors, I knew they would be strong roles. So there was an anticipation of, of how I would mix with them uh, as a character. I just wondered, you know, how, okay, we got a strong woman coming in. Okay, I know Sawyer's gonna have to bash heads with her. One, two. Oh, hold on. Ah! It was great because we were all suffering, and it's kind of like it's kind of like the brotherhood that that's created in in army environments. <laughs> so when you get me in that position, right? Yeah. Down here, now you can break loose and go boom, fire right there, oh. right? Whack! And while you're coming down, whack! That's it, right? And that's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna be a deadly weapon by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> you train your soldiers to bond, and that's how you do it. You put them in, you know intense situations where, you know, they're tired and they're hungry. So then they depend and rely on each other for comfort. And uh, it built a certain, you know, tightness, a certain bond between us all.